put echo on this bit. This is the EXO podcast. Episode one. <laughs> cast, um, cast, 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 you cast. know when people are trying to like cling to relevance, like yeah. it, you know, yes, right now people know like KSI yeah. are getting called un- irrelevant, yeah. irreverent. Obviously, what what the fuck does that make the rest of us mere mortals? I don't know, but um, you know, it's all right to be irrelevant. Heavy mm. D, what's he then? Oh, you know what I mean? oh base, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> no, that's not fat right, shit. Geez, okay, We're not starting well, off the channel with yeah. it. Start off. But anyway, I, brand, I, call what, them all. No, can we just what I'm the trying to say is, yeah. is when people come up to you begging to go on a podcast, mm. which is now going to happen to you, lads, because you've got your own podcast now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank me later. You're welcome, you little honey. Yeah. <sighs> It's a pain in the arse because, like, you, you, you kind of you don't want to say to someone, "I don't find you very interesting." Sorry. Yeah. How, so I how find do you, you get attractive. around telling guests that you don't want them? Here's to what come you do: on. you do this. Right? You just go. Brian tends to go. Lawrence is over there. He books the guests. Pass the fucking book. There was a guy. Pass the book. There was a guy who kept saying to me. Um, uh, so I once walked into a room. Stephen was with this guy. And uh, the guy went, get me on the podcast sometime soon. And as he walked away, <laughs> Steve, me, Stephen just went, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Oh, that's right. It, it's, yeah. it's awkward, but like, you just have to be nice about it and just be like, yeah, uh, soon, soon. But, yeah, yeah, soon. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot. We've got a backlog of guests mm. at the moment. But, uh, I've just seen you just been rotating the same people. Backlog. Can, can, can we, so we just say what XO is, because we yes. haven't really explained that. Uh, in, a, in a chat yet yeah. it's hashtag united meets the side men the hash men <laughs> <laughs> the hash men <laughs> or the side tag oh, I love the hash. Side, side tag, tag. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. that's um, actually a day in geez. Germany so side tag. Tag. We, said, we said a while ago on a podcast um, mm-hmm. we were starting a business me and Lawrence we didn't say who with Oh, that went downhill. Yeah. yeah. Devil, you know, so we got the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Barry and Paul. Invest in who you know. That's yeah. What, that's our thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, put, your little, like, put, your future, <laughs> put your future in the hands of this man. Yes. I've got orange palms, you know. Trust me. <laughs> For me, it's just bright. Bright. The future's yeah. really bright. Yeah. So. If I had said that, you would have shut us down. No, yeah. that's oh, right. Yeah. We're not going to do that. No, nah, hello. <laughs> so the channel, uh, we've done, by this point, we've done the launch trailer. The doc has come out as well, which you were showing to some other people. <laughs> it's a real effort yeah. in on that. Hopefully, one, people like that. People have seen the logo, they've seen the animation, they've seen the photo, sh- they've seen everything we've done in building up. They've seen Stephen with the football. Yeah, that hadn't been I've there. actually got footage That's, of that. If you want to, do you want to see? We, let's do that now. Just yes. I don't really remember it. Um, to be honest. <laughs> Just a bit you of a pretty rapid. Yeah, I, mean, I wonder why. Like, it, I didn't then, realize it was quite. Um, it was quite violent, impactful, and it's also Brian's reaction and laugh afterwards because he looks <laughs> <laughs> more sinister. It, yeah, no, not sinister. Just sort of like you know, in a, in a movie when a big person gets told to do something and they're just sort of a henchman mm-hmm. and they're just they don't know what they're doing but they oh. just do it. Here we go. Here we All go. right, ready and correction. Oh, <laughs> oh I didn't realize how. <laughs> you actually go oh, check on I'm just like <laughs> it just um, like snaps it does just snap back but did it like pull your hair out <laughs> no so what's wrong with your that's eyebrow? just balding oh right okay like, yeah. no. he has um, those no, sort of like Monty Burns um, side action going on there. Is that the shape of the side put it right at the top I didn't mean to do that <laughs> Uh, I messed up my uh, my sideburn things. Really? So, yeah, I shouldn't be trusted with a razor. XO is a sport channel, mm-hmm. a sport-based channel. Um, we came up with the idea and the execution ages ago, and we've been looking for the right time to execute it, basically. Ex- and then this opportunity, Ex- the opportunity Sorry. sort of came from a couple of different people. <laughs> yeah, extraordinary. <laughs> The opportunity sort of came from a couple of different people at once. Yeah. And we had to choose a route. So we chose this route, but we said, we're only going to do this if we can get the people that we absolutely want. Oh, yeah. And so the four of us sort of had a meeting, mm. some office in London, and we worked out that we could probably do this, which was quite exciting. Yeah, I remember thinking at the time, I was really nervous as what you guys would say, mm. whether you guys would be like, not my thing at all. I like, just wanted to get out of the flat. Yeah. 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 Genuinely, that was me. I was like, oh. For me personally, as someone who's sort of made his name working for uh, football channels on YouTube, um, it's going to be really fun destroying them. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. 
Yeah. It is going to be fun to compete. All of them. I think in the All past, the chubbles. The, the, the difference was in the past, like it was quite fun to work for other people and see the way that they did things. Yeah. But now we've got this opportunity no, to... Because now we know how shit know everyone well. is. It's great. Because now we know how easy it's going to be to shit all over <laughs> them. Just to, to some we, extent, yeah, we, just, we just know... We I don't know. I feel like a real investment in this channel. Mm. Yeah? I feel yeah. like there's something that we can really do. Where we're, I'm getting quite excited already about the videos that everyone's coming up with. And mm. Everyone is... We're all very different characters. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's four people... We're going for a kick around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with uh, lads. Billy got, and Jez. Got, got the F2 having a kick around with us soon. We're going to put them uh, out. What do you think? Because skill-wise, mm -hmm. we're we definitely the, the best four footballers on YouTube. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Solidly. Yeah. 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 But so you're actually, man, you're better than I thought you'd be. Yeah, I can actually kick a ball. You're decent. I was, I was a good player when I was young, but I was just... You know, I liked food more than football. <laughs> that, that was my only Same, same. Yeah, yeah. Same. This is it. Where did you play when you were a kid? Um... Maybe midfield. the playground. <laughs> no. Uh, well, you're as a striker. Really? Midfield striker, yeah. yeah. Sort of a Stephen Gerrard role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I loved him. You might get to meet him doing this shit. Oh, Jordan Henderson's the one I want to meet. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Charismatic. Did you pretty much uh, uh, Sunday League when you? You just no, never played Sunday. <laughs> never played Sunday League. Mm -hmm. uh, when I first went to university, I went to do the trials and I think I realised then it really is important which football shirt you wear because I went in a net I went yeah in American football <laughs> yeah, shirt right? it's the wrong sport for I, us. Went, oh. I went in a Netherlands jersey and I'm going along and uh, there's a few American guys there and they go over to me and they're like yo man what's going on it's good to see you good to see you man and American guys like, playing Sunday league? league no playing university league oh right? so I go along to the trials and everyone's greeting each other and they're like yeah man good to see you what's your name and I'm like Lars and they're like cool Lars Lars and then a few days later, I'm in the bar with the football team and this guy comes up to me and goes, yo man, where'd that Netherlands guy get go? And I was like, who? And he's like, Lars, that <laughs> Lars guy. And I was like, Lars, I don't know about this guy. And I realized all these guys thought I was from them. And he's like, yeah, man, like we feel like we should, uh, we should work out how the Netherlands are going to play and then play similar. And I was just like, no, yeah, I no. don't know where he went. Don't know where he went. <laughs> Never mention my name again. Like, What's your name again? Lawrence. <laughs> So weird. Um, what about you? Any football? Stories? I used to play centre half, and then everyone outgrew us, and like I think just puberty kind of ruined that for me. Well, yeah. we're, we're probably going to start. What your lack still, of it? I was still. T yeah, oh, oh, you're not wrong. Yeah, still totally. We're still probably going to start a football team. Where, 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 do you, where do you think you're playing now then? I mean the bench is uh, the bench is fine by no, me I, honestly, know, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I quite like the fact but then you've got to run a bit can't you? So yeah. yeah, I'll definitely get sent off I've got a bad temper in football. Do you? Really bad. Fiery. Really? Like, yeah. yeah. You kick off. Yeah. It's funny because the ginger ones are always angry. <laughs> These are Me, Paul Scholes, basically. Reese. Yeah. All the gingers. <laughs> Who else is ginger in football? Chris Evans. Jack Jack Chris Evans, big. He knows his way around a bit. Yeah, he does, yeah. A pitch. A, a pitch. Yeah. Oh, a, a, I've got oh, a pitch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was the only. Um, we, we did a primary school five aside tournaments, and like literally it was like. Tournaments? Like you were touring the country? No, like, <laughs> it, was, it was a big deal it, because you had to have either three boys and two girls. Or, right. Or vice versa. So what did you do? Um, That's similar to your tastes as well, isn't well, it? Well, actually, we had um, three girls and two boys on my right. team. <laughs> play, um, go play. Anyway, um, I was actually pretty good at the five-a-side because, to be honest with you, it wasn't as big a pitch, so there wasn't as much running. You just, you like, yeah, <laughs> Bobby, you just used to stand but with in the middle. With the ball at my feet, I'm, I'm actually pretty decent, right? So, and I, I know it's hard for people, but I wasn't built like I am right now this second. I was... Because right now, people are Im imagining me... In a five side tournament with ten year olds, as I am now, it looks like it looks like it looks like understand? it looks like BB-8 from Star Wars in the middle of a pitch with all these eight year olds running around him. Yeah, fair enough. Um, BB-8. I got targeted by the opposition team, right. and the captain like told everyone, "Go and kick him. You'll, you'll get him." Oh, the one with the beard. In the middle of the. Match, I just down tools, fucked the football off, and just went and lamped the fuck out of this um, really? captain. Yeah, I was the, how I was the only, um, I think it was 10 or 11 year Obviously. old, uh, to be sent off um, in this five aside tournament. Yeah, so I'm not that that aggressive, was, it, it turns out. That was my last competitive <laughs> game. So. Really? Christ. No. And, and, but you used to do diving and stuff. Do you never play when you're out on rigs or anywhere like that? Uh, it's, it's, like, it's, like, underwater. it's a kickabout, but it's it, it, not sorry. like. Not like that. So I'm looking forward to getting back into the game. Who, uh, who would you... Don't do it to Seb or Spencer and just turn tools. No, no, no. Uh, 
No. I've played those mm. guys. Seb's hard to play. Against. Hashtag um, and all them. They, they take it very seriously. The thing is with us, we're not really like that. So it's you are you are a competitive person. I've I, 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 I seen him on the um, I mean, the next level football league. Mm. He's literally shouting at Arsenal fan TV. It's, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen oh, yeah, the yeah, touchline. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, psyching them out. Are nah, you gonna do that again? I, I've, I've been really nasty to Claude, <laughs> uh, and I didn't, oh. I didn't mean to be. Oh, Claude's the nicest I one. I didn't mean to be. That was the thing. Was oh. I was just, I was so angry with Arsenal fan TV, <laughs> and I just saw them? the first biggest figure on the channel, and I just thought you. Yeah. And I just went up to him and I, went, and I went, your team's playing away tonight. Why are you here? And he went, what? And I went, you heard. And just ran up. <laughs> ran up. You, you were shouting much worse than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they were, they were really, I mean, some really arrogant. It. They were really arrogant we're, on the sidelines. They were gonna... shouting, it's e too easy, too easy, mm. boys. And I was like, I want a bit of this. They're asking for that, a verbal no, that, that would really fuck me off, though. Anyone yeah, yeah. To, to say this is easy, like, there's just no respect there. Though, if someone says easy to me, that, that will make me mm. slap. I love the idea that you as a manager are like a bigger Jose. Really? Yeah, like intimidating, you'll use mind games, but a suit. I, 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 uh, Do you know what I mean? Like Jose meets Sam Allardyce, something like that. Yeah, smash. <laughs> are you reading text messages? That's a dodgy mental image, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you could say... Because uh, I was thinking the other day, if I could be like any player, I'd be mm. like Xabi Alonso. That's the mm. only player that I ever. All right. Is he your? How often do is you he your spiritual that's... footballer? He's my. Yeah, we've had this conversation. I, like I think before, but off Shabby. camera, where we we came for spirit footballers. All right. I don't think my. <coughs> so my problem is, if I have a spirit animal, it's not mm. a lion. It's mm. not. It's like a. It's a, a, a gazelle. I'm with a yeah. Mate, yeah, but I Paul want... Dummett, spiritual football. Oh, what a shout, absolute shout. To be fair, he's been solid recently. <laughs> Big fat Paul. I would have said you were more of a Darius Vassell. <laughs> Darius Vassell. <laughs> yeah, you're that one too, a... that one too. Yeah. 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 No, that's you're part of it. A, um, Bit of Paul. Ben Jarney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Dion Dublin that's selling hoses now? Yeah. He's, yeah. What's he he present, what's under the hammer. Yeah. True, yeah. true story. Yeah, I know his agent you get your really well that to get that. Yeah. Sir Alex yeah. Ferguson yeah. apparently once gave a full review of his penis. Yeah. So, oh, and the, and the quote was seen. magnificent. Really? <sighs> wow. He so says similar things about his time, horses. Next so. you're watching Holmes under the hammer. Just remember what the hammer actually is. <laughs> <laughs> Just Dion swinging it. No, 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 we can't. We Sold. can't. Two hander. Not, yeah, that's not a. That's really not a line of questioning. Holmes under you, the hammer. Who would you bitch. say you're like? Holmes under the Judy Haman. Who would you say you're like? Eamon Holmes under um, the hammer. Eamon Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> my fingers. Who am I like? This just in. I've got no fingers. Thank you. I, in a playing sense, maybe like I, I view myself like a John Terry, or a, um, in a playing sense, right? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. it depends what you're playing. Um, <laughs> what you to doing? be fair, no, go on. Or, or like a Roy Keane. Like I like to think that that I'm competitive. I'm an organizer. Yeah. But also, I occasionally lose it. Do you know what I mean? There's an edge. Mm. I play on the edge. Mm. And con and there's always that worry, a bit like Roy Keane, that if you push you too far Alfie Holland you're it's not that it'll Alfie be like Dears. yeah <laughs> I'll just do a little tackle on him just to remind him right it's in the like knee. Roy Keane it just goes you want to this knee yeah. Yeah. yeah what a, what are you spirit footballer uh, it's going to be present day Mark Lawrence and <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you're more like a sort of a hossa mate sort of player uh, yeah. Jan the, Kromkamp those oh they Steve were terrible Finnan you've got you've got skills actually though you've got a good touch on I'm, I'm a I'm a flair player but no end product you know so I could uh, Phil Neville <laughs> <laughs> those step overs he yeah, did once. that's me that's Pablo that, Iman he has actually got a touch though like you can dribble a bit <laughs> yeah who a would that be who, who does fuck all but you can dribble a bit uh, what, about that, to be like Adama Traore is a bit useless with it oh but I mean, uh, that's, uh, me. no yeah, maybe an Atsu can't really do anything Atsu's really. a bit like Whoa. that Lots of dribbling. Careful. Fuck all. I like, like Atsu. Like if Coutinho couldn't score, that's me. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Coutinho's doing really well at Barcelona now. It kind of, <coughs> it doesn't look like the same person running out in their own You keep saying this. Are you just what? not um, good that he's gone? Is that no, like, not really. I'm, I'm glad he's gone. Really? He deserved it, yeah. He deserved it? He worked it. hard. Yeah, I guess he did. <laughs> Do you think he did? He played with Jordan Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hard work. Yeah. I quite like Jordan Henderson. I just don't really want I, I like him, but he's just not Gerard. He's shit. He's dog yeah. shit. He's absolutely well, dog shit. I've grown up watching Stephen Gerrard and I'm watching Jordan Henderson. Mm. That's yeah, how Newcastle yeah. fans feel. Yeah. So we, we grew up watching mm. the Keegan, Bobby Robson era. Like, yeah. And now... You just take that with your yeah. full team. Yeah. yeah, the whole team. Yeah. Oh, just, no, you've got nah, you're like... Lascelles is a quality player. Yeah. And then... Oh, oh wait, man. 
How many <laughs> blocks people? All right. <laughs> well, it's not like, exactly fucking, job, right? it's it's not like watching world class football, is it? We he stops good players. That's his job. Paid right. 75 million for Virgil van Dijk. Yeah. Like, how's that yeah. feel? Oh. I actually think um, Rafa, like, when you watch the cells, it's like living proof of how good Rafa is, seeing how much the cells improved since. Mm. He takes mediocre centre backs and makes them into incredible. Everything Carragher said yeah. when uh, Rafa came in is has been proven true from organisation, mm. but going forward, dog shit. Do you think you'd be a Rafa type manager, where you, boring football, or do you think you'd just be like you'd be like Keegan? I'd definitely not be. I'd not be a Rafa type. I'd want to go for it more than he does. Yeah. Look, doubt. Who is managing this XO football I team? Oh great! Well, well, that's going to be a good halftime talk, isn't it? What's going to show us? What? I do want to play some matches. If mm. Boltwood can fucking play, I'm playing. Have you seen Boltwood? Play a manager. Like Batman Kevin Boltwood. Stuart Pierce type. Uh, Mike and Rude Hullet. Yeah, I. We should get Mark Brighton. Expertise. I, uh, get rid of Lawrence. Mark Bullets Bright. Jordi. Yeah, yeah. Jordi. <laughs> Hello, Jordi. Good yeah. to see you. Bloody good cardigan as well. Yeah. That, 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 that'd have the opposition. That's actually that was a mixtape. questionable choice for the last Wembley Cup when he rocked up in the Cardi. I was, oh. I was surprised by I that. I liked it. I levelled up with the suit and he levelled down. Ooh, yeah. We saw what's going on here. Yeah. You dumb up, whereas he dumbs down. No, that's why he wasn't dumb commentating. Up. The suit just wasn't there, was it? He was pitch side. He looked great. Um, job and Saunders. So, someone's someone's asking what where, where is XO going this podcast? Because we're actually going to be interviewing hopefully well, this on here. And is there any dream footballers for you? Obviously, you've said Xabi Alonso would be a great. Well, you already, Dublin yeah. probably costs a couple of quid to be honest with you. So is there anyone better? Well, you've already taken Shearer, haven't you? Um, you know what I mean? Sorry, you, that's already. What, what, I just gave everything. everything. Well, what else can I ask him? You could have met him as well. Oh, I bottled that yeah. hugely. Yeah, you you were busy. I was, I was sat in King's Cross with the in the Leon. Mm. I had a halloumi burger because I was being incredibly working. Um, anyway, working. And, <laughs> I was being incredibly working. And um, he walked past. He had his cast on. What? What did he do? Did he break his hand or something? Oh, I think, oh, he's he looked particularly threatening anyway. Uh, I, I just turned around and he was just walking there. And I was like, oh, I bottled it. And he but just then, stood there. But to be fair, on the day I did the it podcast, I did though. make time for Will to meet him, but Will was busy that day with Brian. I was, I was, I was scared again, job. honestly. Oh, such a what a we'll make Who do you want to interview? David Ginola. It's it'd be harder with, well, not harder with footballers, but someone you could get a really good story out of. I've got a like. footballer on my podcast, actually, as it happens. That might have mm-hmm. come out by now, though. Um, yeah, it, it probably is already out by the time this goes out. Uh, tomorrow we're doing it Kieran Dyer oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that should be good I'm basically going to t- tell him what every Newcastle fan's been saying we are so we, we're going to go more the down the sort of I feel like that one's going to be the one can you the most play Lee Boyer you actually just, you've got the same haircut yeah, you yeah have you come in Newcastle round two t- who, who got the shirt ripped out of those two I think it was Boyer one of them, one of them went for the shirt I remember yeah. Boyer walking off the pitch and his shirt was just hanging yeah. Out. yeah that was really weird but then I feel like we're going to do... What about Ginola or someone like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was thinking... Very good, yeah. David Ginola is actually a really interesting character as well. He mm. went for FIFA president. Oh, I remember. Was that like I a Paddy Power sponsored thing? Or was yeah. that an actual like I move? It was a joke. I hope it was a joke. <laughs> uh, we will ask him we could find out. But he also did a... Tra- mm. I saw him... I filmed him in a training session once. And all he did all the way through was he, he kept coming up and going, it's the English people. It's so annoying. And I was like... I'm in. <laughs> and he, he kept doing this. from the Netherlands. Like, no, no, yeah, you need to keep your head up. And it was just like, we don't keep our head up. And he was like, yeah, in France, we always keep our head up, head up. And he kept doing this to everyone. Who did that? All the time. David Ginola to all the people uh, he was training with. Yeah. And he was like, just interviewing with a neck brace. Apparently, he was quite a prolific shagger back in the Newcastle days. I mean, you could see him. He was. Handsome yeah. bastard. Yeah. And he had that hair up as well. Mm. What about you? Uh, uh, ideal footballer. Not prolific, prolific shagger. shagger. <laughs> <laughs> I like Oxlade Chamberlain. Yeah. Not, right. as, not as an interview, just as a you know hangout. Right, we're asking yeah, him specifically about interviews. Mm-hmm. So interviews you know, I'm oh, Jordan. Gerard, yeah. Gerard? Yeah. And then if not, no, we'll James get Milner, though, is it? I feel like I Oxley like Chamberlain has... You and, you and James Milner would be class. I've, I've actually seen him uh, interviewed on the Man City channel when he did the deliberately boring shit. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, That was actually funny. Yeah, yeah. he's good. I feel like there's, but there's not many footballers can do that. You know that game Dyer got and Boyer got sent off? Was that the same game that... Stephen Taylor it was, was like shot in the goal. I was there. Have you seen that when he tries yeah, to run the penalty goes and he's like, oh, he's oh, because right. that happened before <laughs> that, and I and I, at that point I was like, I can't watch this anymore. I've got yeah. to go. It was three one or something like that. And I'm walking down the stairs, and do you know how they've got the monitors in the, on the stairs. Oh yeah, turn yeah, around, yeah. And at that point, Bo- Boyer and oh, I are punching. Oh. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Who's <laughs> 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 managing? Graham Souness. Was ah. it? What? Graham Souness was managing yeah. then? That seemed quite late, but mm. yeah, I suppose that makes sense. It was the year after Bobby left. 
Why get Graham Sooners in? I mean, us like the sky. I've got no, no one idea. knows. Graham Sooners is quite a good pundit. Though, is he? I think I feel like sometimes like he says you don't like him. He's not a likable man. I, 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 no, his own mother wouldn't like. Him. <laughs> that's, no, but that's what I like about him is that he doesn't. He sometimes he just sits there and it's incredibly awkward, and yeah. he just sort of goes. He does this like sort of. But he he does it in a he tries to do it in the Roy Keane way, but Roy Keane mm. pulls it off a lot more. I've heard Sunes is a real gritty character. Yeah, yeah. I'd look at him now and say, Wait, "You drop your fucking OAP bus pass. You're not threatening no one. Stop acting like a hard man. <laughs> you, you're literally on death's door." He's not a fucking. F- He's not. He that had a heart attack a few months ago, man. Did he? Right. Yeah. Stop the hard man. man. You're literally it's really looking to be alive. Yeah, but I, I think you can be a hard man and have a heart attack. I don't. <laughs> no. I, don't I mean, like not to some point you've got to soften up, though. Yeah, what, you mean sort of... I think he needs to just chill out a bit. Yeah. You know, stop stressing out, you're doing your blood pressure no good. Yeah. (laughs) Just get a Yankee candle. (laughs) (laughs) Can you imagine that? How else (laughs) Graham Graham Sinas does chill out? Um, what scent do you reckon he'd have? What, sorry? Clean, clean <laughs> linen. <laughs> Not his own. <laughs> Dion Dublin's a <laughs> Homes under the hammer. Homes um, under the... Someone's asked, what, is there anything left to say about the KSI uh, fight? Is there anything that is you... Has that documentary gone out? Uh, yeah. It would have done by the time right. this goes out. Um, well, they which, hit each other a few times which, and uh, can a few people watched it? Yeah. I, Next one. I found Are it. Are you interested in watching another fight? Yes, between you hugely. Yeah. But it, it, if it's the same level of spectacle, I, I, I think it it's, it's very hard to go forward from what that was. No, you have a better undercard. Oh, well, yeah, but like in terms of event. yeah, and, yeah, and it would also like be the, handy if the live stream didn't break up or black out at any point. That yeah. would be great. If, if they had a production company worth our salt, which Let's, we can. Provide. There were some good people there, though. Um, hi, dude. Yeah, nice guys. Um, like it's it's tricky. So we need basically we need a new Joe Weller for for JJ you to need fight. A, you need and I'd that. actually like to say for the record, I'd like to say Joe on the undercard of the next one. Yeah. Because I think that uh, the occasion was a, a lot, and I think it's one of those things like where people sometimes fail their driving test and then they take it a second time and they were like. Oh, I this is not actually as big a deal. I, yeah. I failed it now, and once you you get over that, you perform. And I think, especially against someone hit more his size, it would be mm-hmm. interesting to see how he did. Uh, get him fighting Elliot. That'd be good crack. Yeah, yeah. I swear <laughs> to God, 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 I I swear God, God no, that would be a actually really to win, really win back the sidekick status. I mean, <laughs> like, if he wins, I've got to do twelve videos. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, when by twelve that is when KSI <laughs> called out uh, Jake Paul. Logan you mean Paul, when I reminded him? To. Yeah, any of the Pauls. I feel like Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Do you know what he's I mean? Sitting yeah. there chilling. Yeah, he's Shand just up sitting up there. He's going. <laughs> any, that, speaking of remaining relevant, I mean, like, yeah, he was. Sean Paul's always been relevant. Point. Sean Paul's always been relevant. Nah. Oh, Sean de Paul. Yeah. 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 It's it's timeless. Have, yeah. You t- have you seen the video? I think. We've seen yeah. All the guys slapping on his belly. That makes me cry. There's a, there's a video of this guy and he like he nails it just yeah, yeah. slapping on his belly yeah. the temperature and I, it's I mean, like I don't know what the words are at the start of it it's like something he would do something like that and he's like shut the bell and he's just I'm rude yeah, you need to it's, it's way funnier when you've got on your phone the, the weirdest bit of all of this uh, Jake Paul versus uh, KSI thing is that Jake Paul's dad um, I didn't know he did all that shit with um, kissing those girls oh, 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 dodgy, dodgy. that looked so Horrible rank. Uh, I mean, she must watch that back it, and it, think it's the way he <sighs> he got on, and he was like, "I'm really gonna milk this shit for all it's worth as yeah. long as I can." And then <laughs> his sons are like, "Like, oh, let's get vi- it. like video and the whole thing." I, I kind of think it's worse than watching your dad kiss someone like that. Like, it's yeah. disgusting, especially when she thinks it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's what's really horrible about it. Oh, what I love about it is, is, is uh, they've really got it to a point where um, they basically do anything, but because they don't blink, yeah. not literally, but because they don't blink, so when you go, wait, that's a bit ridiculous. The they, they just go, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone else goes, yeah, right, no, it isn't. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. You've nailed them, as yeah. in that is exactly mm. what the Paul brothers are. They like, just keep going. They're just, they're just relentless, and they yeah. just keep So they have, they have no limit as well, clearly, and, and, and they only judge that off of everyone's reaction to what they do. Yeah. Yeah. And only when there's a big kickoff do they go, oh, oh no, we're changed now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, the, how bullshit that was when he got that new haircut and that. And then, oh, I mean, I mean to be fair, he would, that was overdue. The haircut was overdue, but then Taser and the Rat in the next video, like... The thing is, though, if Stephen did that, Stephen would still have ads on his channel. Like, you know, like, 
Sorry, I'm just saying if you were to go around. He kind of get hands on his channel for uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure dead bodies. Yeah. I, I think, so do you know what happened with him? They pulled all of his adverts off. I mean, not that it's going to be different. For two days or so. Yeah. Two days. The dead rats thing, it obviously, right, it's <coughs> not your most normal thing to do, but if anyone else done it, I don't, there's not such that massive reaction. Yeah, but no, so there are sources. I think massive, it's off the back like, of, the, of the dead body. Oh, oh, 100%, yeah, but it's just like. I don't know if th- sorry I've, got, I've completely segued here but if that was the right thing to do it was like, yeah. we'll pull all of them because what president does that set for more edgy people I don't know the president's already pretty messed up in <sighs> do you think they should um, have banned them from the dead bodies to be honest uh, that's yeah. what I was going to say delete the channel do you right think, there and then uh, I don't know about deleting delete it because it. it's still great content but uh, do you think the, the rat thing you know after the whole other stuff that he did in the suicide forest do you think it's do you also think that's too soon yeah. Oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? Don't do. Don't I, I back to what you JJ said, killed me when he was like, just stay the fuck away from <laughs> dead things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like genuinely, stop covering. Just it. Literally. Unless you can be respectful, just mm. shut up. It's just like if Deli Ali now went on, you know, chat roulette and was caught wanking, it'd be like too soon, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a month before it, you do that. Yeah, give it a little while. You're still relevant in the old space. Well, that yeah. was definitely him, wasn't it? That Deli. Uh, I yeah, don't yeah. know, and we can't legally say. Mm. Uh, it was. I mean, it definitely could have or could. Or could not have been. We, we've, all, we've also been asked to mention Valentine's Day. Um, mm. How was yours? Have you ever had any good ones? Um, no. Bad ones? Do you no. care? No. You are? Yeah. Do you give a shit about Valentine's oh, Day? Not really, no. Why not? I find it such an inconvenience, personally. Why? Why? Well, because you, if you've got a woman in your life and. It, <laughs> I, I'm. I, it means you've got to drive to the fucking card shop and, and then when you go to the card shop drive to the card every shop. daft cunt I, I hate card shops I fucking hate them they're full of old women constantly getting in the way just get out my fucking way I need to get in here get the fucking card yeah. and get the fuck out are you worried you'll be seen in a card shop as no well? I just don't yeah, want to yeah, be around with all of these true Geordie pictured in you know <laughs> gift cards I, I don't care but I just don't want to be around Peace all these fucking surroundings. it's these pricks who these who these old women <laughs> It's always old women in card shops. You take a. Are they the only person people who buy, buy from cards? Probably. I don't buy cards. Yeah, I, 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 I really hate actually, cards. I take mm. real pleasure in cards. I really like. They're a waste cards. of fucking energy. Completely waste of energy. Do you, what, do you, what do you put in them? I love every birthday. My uh, <coughs> my dad will always just buy a card and it will say to Lawrence from Dad, and that's the only stuff he puts in it. And that's what I love is I've got like a collection of to Lawrence from Dad. To Lawrence from Dad. I feel like it's a running joke, but it's a very quiet one. Just on your end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone's asked another question. How important are looks? to the XO boys when it comes to getting a girl relationship and that how, on the on the agenda so what agenda out, oh out, you asked Joseph who's coming up with that out of 10 someone saying uh, when, you, when you're getting into a relationship with a girl how focused on looks are you I'd say initially it's the main thing isn't it initially it might I think be the thing quite that shallow like draws that draws you towards someone yeah. but then yeah. looks can also reflect no he's touching sorry oh, looks can also you. reflect uh, sometimes what the person's like on the inside so when you see someone that you like and you think oh that's attractive then you'll go oh I'll go over and talk to them mm. that's what drew me Wait, yeah. so what you're saying the personality is channeled through the facial features I think sometimes you no, can see look. whether someone's generally a happy person or not even if you don't yeah, to be honest I don't think my judgement on that has been very good so <laughs> 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 because when a girl smiles for a few seconds I think that's, there's a happy person Yeah. and then when you get to know them you realise it's just oh. a break from all the hours of frowning no. Oh, I, I mean, to, that's not my experience, but maybe you've just had mm. some bad ones. Mm. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I'll just make women miserable. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? Self deprecating. Women like that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Maybe I'll just make women miserable. Oh, I like this. I find women, <laughs> no, but the more I get to know women, the more, the more it befuddles me a little bit. That, um, Do you feel befuddled? No, nah, it, it does because <laughs> like what I've sort of realised. <laughs> Let me befuddle and this is, you. And, and I'll take, I'll take Steve's point. This is grown man shit, right? Yeah. Women love complaining. No, we can't go down this route. This is just sexist bollocks. No. Mm. This is just real rubbish. <laughs> it, honestly, it's... You, it is, you, you This is my experience. Right, so this is your Don't experience. Don't you take away from my experience. Well, I'm not taking away. Again. All they I'm also say- love sex, though. All I'm saying is... Uh, take my you, you could, uh, if, I'd, <laughs> if, you, if you took away the phrase women and you replace that with true Geordie there's exactly the same correlation there enough. yeah That's you fair. love complaining and I'm not going to complain about that ironically <laughs> yeah exactly and you love sex <laughs> do you ever think that you just focus on those things and that's why you I'm not, do, do you want to know something yeah I'd love right. to Can, I'll make a point Tell I've got something. a lot of mates with lasses and yeah. a lot of mates with, all have got lasses you're if, if you're ever having a conversation with the lads in the pub and you're going 
how's you and your last doing? I never hear any of them go, she's not a pick and a bother, her, she's great. <laughs> I never fucking hear that. I always hear, fucking what a miserable cow. I, that's all I ever wow. hear. You're and hanging I'm just out starting with to think that all men I know who are in relationships are all saying the same thing to each other. Huh? Maybe we need to get together and start saying, yeah, this is a fucking... Yeah, but all the men should just get together. All <laughs> <laughs> should just get just together and start saying each other. other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I said we've we've said this quite a lot. The XO boys are doing things differently to yeah. start things up. We um do you not think though you've never sat in the middle of a group of women in the pub, they might also say mm. my man's a real pain. No, but probably I mean that's what I'm trying to say though. Are you just saying then it's just a division in the sexes? Maybe it's just everyone's complaining about everyone. To be fair though, if one if, the, if your one mate was like, Oh yeah, everything's grown great, just bloody hell. It's alright. Oh okay. That's all right. Someone's been shot in the corner. Um, if they were like, oh, yeah, everything's great, it's going like great. Drill? Probably wouldn't invite them to the pub again, would you? <laughs> no. You wouldn't want anyone that positive. around with this happy bastard. Exactly, so maybe they're just Pissing not... Me off. Maybe it's actually the bloke who's saying it. No, but like, I'm just saying, all my mates are... Up, they're, not, like, they're all saying the same shit. So. Do you think the men hear that and then they go, oh, I don't want to make Brian feel bad about his relationship. Yeah, oh, my ones are real. Mm. Ooh, what was the word you used? Cow. <laughs> Ooh, what cow. I've just never heard anyone go, ah, oh, she's me, bother her, she's not a picking. Mm. Never heard it. Have you ever heard it's anyone? It's quite a specific who, phrase, like How many people, though, just spend. <laughs> I'm waiting for that exact word in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy. Then I'll accept them. Here's right. an interesting thing, though, right? Since we've set up this new company, I've assessed the relationships I have with people and sort of. And I never thought of it. I sort of thought of it before, but I never thought about building a team of people. Mm -hmm. Like in, in, on YouTube or as a freelancer, you never really work for a very long enough time with a set of people oh, okay. to try and build a team. No. I think you often take for granted when you find other people you work well with how well that works mm -hmm. and you don't think about those characters and what I don't want on the team is someone who complains a lot. I don't like when someone always goes yeah but yeah but yeah but it's you, over for you, you don't want someone who's always going yes but this mm. is the problem you always want someone who goes hmm good let's try it yeah. or let's add this and I feel like it's the same in football like if you have you find all the negative footballers tend yeah. to like gravitate together and all the positive ones will tend to like create better music who's, a, like who's a positive footballer then do you think who are you like right you you know it was unusual recently I, I, I heard that Neymar moved away from Barcelona because he found Barcelona quite negative oh really I yeah. can imagine then, why after going there Right, okay, yeah. I don't think he was going, I'm not getting the vibe in this city. Do you know what I mean? I think he was more like talking about the actual relationships. Well, no, but uh, even then, I just being in the stands, I remember thinking to myself, well, we, we were lucky enough to see like Messi on his fucking best day. And Suarez. Um, and Neymar. No, Did but, Neymar I, I remember Messi in particular. Memorable. <laughs> he was unfucking playable in this game. And even still, the fans. They didn't celebrate the way Newcastle fans mm. did when we beat Man United 1-0. Like, it, it, it wasn't even close. It was, they're so spile rotten, their standards are so high. high that you don't get the appreciation that you should get. Big I was, leave it out. I was thinking about that the other day, like, when I very first started YouTube, and, like, got a video that got a thousand views, that feeling was so brilliant. So good. And now if I don't get, like, you know 300, me. 400 thousand views, I'm miserable. Yeah. It's just, it's just <laughs> are how you you're always happy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> XO! <laughs> <laughs> that should be the answer. It's, like, it's, it's a relative thing, though, isn't it? It's just like you judge it on what you're what you see. Yeah, because like your, your they've had the treble, haven't they? Because the fact is that one day you'll you'll quit YouTube, you'll quit YouTube, you'll quit YouTube. You, you can't do it for your whole life. I don't know. Like Joe Rogan's proven to me, he's getting, you can keep going for a little. Yeah. But at How some point, he? bit, he's in his fifties. At some point, you might think, I want to give this little break or something, mm -hmm. and suddenly you're yeah. you're probably when I can afford to. Yeah, like but when you can afford to, then there'll be a real shift towards. You I'm won't care about numbers it. anymore. You won't think, oh, I've got to go and get it. Your shift will be, your folks will be like, you yeah, can see the YouTubers who've made a lot of money and then have taken their foot off the gas. It's clear. Turned their Instagram to black. Yeah. Put it, like, we we all know who they are. Turned their second channel to black. Yeah. Yeah, it must be nice. I'll tell you what's what, been what pissing me off Instagram lately. Well, it, it, see, that wasn't a oh a changing thing. I just looked. I was like, this is shite. This. So I was like, well, I'll get rid of it, and yeah, then I'll hopefully. Over. It's actually a really good you idea. Could, so basically, my first photos of Pat are actually going to be EXO photos as well. Oh, so I did the photos. So I'm going to put them as the three. So I, I can yeah. give you, I can give you loads more if you want. Yeah, please like, can, can we get well loads more? Photo see, by the way, if you want to follow my Instagram, it is just Will and E straight. So that would be great. Oh, straight. You know. <laughs> Will and E underscore straight. <laughs> oh, because we have kind of said yeah, yeah. previous. Um, but do you, one thing I also realise is how important it is to have good people behind the cameras. Well. I think a lot of people, like mm. Con did a really good job on the photo shoot that we had. Bless Con had never done a photo shoot before. I called him a couple of days before and went, do you think you can do a photo shoot? And he went, 
Yeah, I'll give it a try. Hey, it's one of the biggest risks. One of the biggest risks I've ever taken around Brian. Um, <laughs> but uh, Boltwood and all the other people behind the scenes are just as important as the people on camera. Mm. More so. Well, he just said yeah. that because he sat there. Or as I call them in the office, the little people. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, little people. One thing that I'm, str- I'm struggling with lately yeah. is uh, from a YouTube stairs. point of view. <laughs> what did you say there? Get, getting up the stairs. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the middle of you today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just shouting. He's got a stanner in his new place. Um, to be honest, a bit the only that thing would, that does yeah. work in this fucking house. <laughs> anyway, yeah. criticism. Yeah. Right. The great thing about making long form content is that there's more for people to enjoy. And to criticise. But there's a lot more for people to criticise. Because everything that isn't quite, and he didn't say that word perfectly in... There's so much more for people to rip to shreds. Shout it a little bit, a little bit more when he punched him. Yeah, than the other one. Uh, yeah, like one. oh yeah, that, that's another thing. Like so, when I was doing the commentary, uh, one choice. thing that people do is they'll they'll watch the fight back uh, five ten times and they'll be like, "You did that wrong. You did that wrong. Yeah. You did that wrong." I'm like, literally, I only got one go at this yeah. and I had four glasses of wine on yeah. it. And why did, why did your co-commentator keep saying he punches him in the face? <laughs> <laughs> another shot to the face. Kapow! The face. <laughs> <laughs> Bosh, bosh. That, that was my only saving grace was that Lawrence made me look a little bit better. Um, Found it. In. No, but it, 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 it's hard though. Like, Still got paid. And actually, Handsomely. you know when you're getting criticised more heavily than other times. And right now, I'm, lately, I've been getting loads of fucking stick. I'm like, so people like, does that not come with more praise as well? Is I it guess just, so. Is it not just just like even just having Joe Suck on the podcast earlier? Someone went on a fucking run. Sick of these irrelevant YouTubers. <sighs> don't have them. I'm like, mate, I've got a fucking gun to your head. <laughs> so sorry. I saw you. This is your podcast him. once again. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but still, I, I haven't got a fucking gun to anyone's really. head. Like, if you don't want to watch, I'm, I'm, like, this, I'm doing this for free. Yeah, I'm yeah. not fucking forcing you to watch it, Paul. Mm. Yeah. If you well, want to he's su- sitting there and his captors are making no, you watch the, it. The point is, if you really support me, but you're not keen on a certain video, like oh, say, really say, I love them. It's if I look at YouTubers yes. who I admire, like say for, take Joe, Joe Rogan for example, he, he does a podcast with a guy I'm not too keen on. I don't fucking treat him and go this fucking shit. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm not too keen on that one. But get, let's not forget the other ninety five percent of what he does. I fucking love. So I'm just going to keep supporting him. The amount of people who fucking dig us out over. Mm-hmm. Let me just also say guests though. I'm having on. I always you not everyone can be fucking Nick Yaris. No. Uh, although we do want to put one of you away in prison for 23 years <laughs> well, and see yeah, what comes yeah. out the other end. XO. I'm doing a stretch to be yeah. there. Yeah, do you know what? Oh. Stretch. Yeah. Um, I talked about fucking Nick Yaris. Uh, yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he keeps leaving those comments. Um, <laughs> it's, it, you, I always feel like you take criticism or, um, there was someone who gave Terribly. you, yes, <laughs> but there was someone who gave you feedback or they were just saying, I've got some really big ideas and you were like, what a fucking pain. I think it shows how yeah, invested someone is in your podcast. I think when someone come, takes the time to go, oh, I really want to see you, but I don't want to see you interviewing these people. I don't feel like they're coming along going, you're shit. I feel like they're coming along going, I want to see this because this is how I like you. Do you know uh, what I mean? So constructive criticism, I'm all for. Yeah. However, when someone tweets me a picture of the new painting behind us and says, can, uh, like the podcast, but can you sort the angle of the painting out? And I'm like, oh, fuck off. What you don't realise is the angle of the painting's probably right, but the slider it's comes right. mm-hmm. at an angle and makes it look wonky at times from whatever side it's coming from. You'd be itching together out of time. Do I have to worry about stadiums, if I'm honest? Do I have to fucking answer this question to this guy on Twitter? No, I don't. I mean, well, I think if, if that's their biggest problem, that says a lot about yeah, how good the podcast look, just, is. It's when people criticise over irrelevant shit like as well so I believe Alan Partridge said it best yeah I just hate the general public y- yeah <laughs> and that is the XO motto by the way yeah. <laughs> XO I just hate the general public uh, I don't know maybe I'm just getting a lot of it lately with uh, the fight and all of that do you and think then you're just more susceptible it's like um, uh, hay fever you just think you're a bit more susceptible to it at the moment I don't know. I, I, I haven't done a football a over in a while, and that's when people usually get their clothes out and start saying, he's forgotten where he come from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so I'll, I'll be doing one of them to keep everyone off me back. Or I people think. do the old, uh, or if you cry, it'll really help. But if you, if people also do the old, oh, he wasn't like this back in the day. You don't know him mm-hmm. like I know him. Mm-hmm. I, he's not as authentic as everyone yeah. thinks. And, and I go, I've seen him. That's real fat. Muscle. That's real muscle. All right. Lawrence. I'm getting picked on quite a lot. Can't wait to get back on my own podcasts. 
Yeah. He's still there. Yeah. He's still there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's, got edi- he's got editing to be doing. Oh, I do actually have a lot of editing to mm. be doing. I've, I've left that in the capable hands of an editor. Um, um, so. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking? I had something to say, I've forgotten. Bloody hell, Stephen. What are your goals on the channel? Like, when you first thought... Where, like where would you like to go? There, because I've been to quite a few European stadiums. I've been really lucky. Man. Yeah, we, we are going to do some more of the football holidays. That we, yes. we did one of those, but all four of us. I would le- really like to go on a trip to Paris with just Lawrence. That would actually that, that be that really good. Yeah, I'd actually never just that. Yeah. that would actually yeah. be really never romantic. We could hold hands Fantastic. all the way around. We actually don't spend enough alone time. Oh, to be fair, no, yeah. alone time. Usually got cold blocks in the way. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, no, so down. but I, okay. I, I, what, I. What about like the rest of the world? Like outside of Europe, is there anywhere? I'd like to go to Argentina. I um, mm. really want to go to Buenos football. Aires. I think it'd be really cool. I hear the football experience over there is like Intense. incredible. Yeah. No, I hear it's really. I know. Uh, <laughs> do they not? <laughs> what? I can see. Do they not hate us though? Uh, no, this is very specific. Isn't that the fault? Yeah. yeah, and if I go over there, and back. Back. it's right. I go I'm from Liverpool. We hate Margaret Thatcher as well. Yeah. They all go mm. relating. Yeah. What about you, Steve? Um, Emiliano in sewer. Yeah, he's a player. Any country you'd like to continue? I'd like to go to Ajax, the surrounding area of Ajax. Right, you want to go oh, to yeah. you want to go to Amsterdam? Get the bucket head out. Yeah, yeah. Just have a bit of fun. Look, there. I. Uh, again, I beat FC. That is an actual team. We should actually go to Ibiza. I've never been to Ibiza, but I feel like I'm a bit old for it now. No, you're, you're never too old. Wait, <laughs> Wayne Lineker. <laughs> You've heard him say that before. <laughs> you're never too old. Really followed by the words Wayne Lineker is never no, a good thing. He's, he's like the, the big guy, fat boy Slim. He's still going. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm not sure. <laughs> is Wayne Lineker an acronym? Could we do like a, a, is it? Like a, wax a football holiday in, a, in Ibiza? Please. Probably, yeah. yeah. You'd be like Kevin and Perry go large. It would be. I'm, I'm thinking of that. <laughs> Super sign. I've never been to America. Oh yeah, I know we haven't. There's not technically a football team over there worth going to, but I'm mm-hmm. sure we can make something mm-hmm. up. There definitely is. Is there? Having been to America, there definitely is a team worth going over there to see. Loads okay. of teams. Is it anywhere near Las Vegas? Uh, there is actually a Las Vegas team now. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're starting. Sorted. There's no grass there. What do they do? What? There's no grass there. It's just. I'd like to go to Las- I'd like to go to America I'd do LA, Vegas, maybe New York, something like that. I'd uh, also like to. Do, I'd really want to go to Chicago. Why? Oh, Ferris Bueller. A, I've never had. So, uh, have, we, have we dropped the football bit from this? You do look like Ferris Bueller. Bueller. A little bit. Yeah. But with a beard and much older. Mm. So, uh, Rough morning. I'd love. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go to Chicago. I want to try the pizzas because they do those like deep dish pizzas where they've got those like in Asda. A, a pie. <laughs> That's <laughs> a Chicago pizza. I really want to go. I want to see that big bob Batten. bubble thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say bye? <laughs> and I just think Chicago looks like a cool place. There's a lot of gangster history there. There's mm-hmm. like, it's yep, architecture is really interesting. I think we'd have a great time. Is that right in the middle? I don't want to see the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, that, like the big uh, reflective blob thing. Oh, yeah. What yeah. about, I'd like to do Brazil. Brazil would be amazing. Uh, yeah. Do you know what, what's funny? I missed out on that because um, Kick TV didn't t- took me back took in you, 2014. Yeah. Shall we get our Stone Islands on and just go to Russia this World Cup? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Russia's <laughs> coming up, but I, I really Brexit don't. Means Brexit. Sorry, I feel like we should go away somewhere else when everyone else goes to Russia. Yeah, like it'd be so super cheap. Yeah, mm. and every, should, but then no one. How looks- shit is Russia going to be though? Probably. Mm. Con, I mean, you're you're Russian. Your family's Russian. Mm. <laughs> is it shit? No, it's great. Is it? Mm. Yes, my brother Russia's great. Is, is just, there any nice women in Russia? Is it a nice? Is it full of good-looking women there? Con's Con's not reacting because he's uh, shacked up. Yeah. He's nodding. That's good enough. Isn't <laughs> I think he was just uh, jit- he was sort of shaking out of <laughs> pure nerves. So Brazil, um, that uh, is bound to have. I'd love to do Chile. Brazil Chile is bound is to be Chile, Chile, Chile. Yeah, and I'd love to do Europe, America, like, anywhere in South America and Japan. Yeah, I'll go to Japan. I mean, YouTubers go in there. I mean, it's got to go Sushi better than the last time, hasn't it? So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, can't it be worse. No, seriously, I would love to go to Japan. Mm-hmm. I think the football over there is the J-League. Like I'd love to see the J-League. We could do an undoing Logan Paul's hell. Steve and I could also Just do a J-League in Amsterdam. Just apologising everyone in the street. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Weed. <laughs> <laughs> On a lad's holiday, you can invite three footballers, past and present, but alive, you know. Uh, who would you pick? <laughs> but alive. George Best was going to be my first as well. So. Gaza's has got to be part of it. Gaza would be a good one, wouldn't he? I feel like Gaza's Ga- good for a, a sesh. I mean, but not anymore. Luckily, yeah. not anymore. Yeah. He's doing well. Yeah. But back in the day, we're talking prime Gaza. 
All right, let, all right. It can be. You all know your six gaza. So I think first of all, you do this, right? You go three footballers who mm. are now retired or dead. They can be any footballer from the past you'd love to do a session with, and then three <laughs> footballers <laughs> of the modern day that you'd love to do that. With. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a bit. He's always got to set rules. <laughs> well, I'm just saying because if you go George Best and then you put him alongside, so I'd go. I think I'd, I'd have a more a less hyped set of people than you would. And where would you go also? Uh, just Rome, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Story. yeah. Rome with Totti. Rome with Totti would player, actually just... be amazing. <laughs> I bet you Totti would bring the women over. Totti would well. bring the Totti. <laughs> yeah. Handsome bastard. I once in Ukraine, that hotel that I tell a story about, and another one, I saw footballers with a lot of women they weren't supposed to be with. Oh. Women of the night. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure they were women of the night. They were just sort of there for their. But they just said they were providing company. Uh-huh. <laughs> not Vince. With what? Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Uh, I'd go like the the classics. I'd go Pirlo. I'd go Xabi Alonso. I'd go. Mark. You want the culture vulture? I'd go. Yeah. And he just wants the Instagram picture. Mark Van Bommel. Really? Mm-hmm. Vardy. Vardy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you go? Oh, current players or anyone? Let's set rules. Okay. Up. Uh, Tony Adams. I will go for Gerard because he seems. Really? He seems fun. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a, a bit DJ. quiet though, isn't he? Oh, I was going to say. No, cool. I've, se- I've seen him. And he always looks like he's squinting at everything he says. Yeah. He's, he's punched a DJ. He knows how to have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Over yeah. over Phil Collins, I think it was, or Simply Red or something like that, wasn't it? What happened? He really likes... It's either Simply Red or Phil Collins, one of the two ginger people. Oh. He... He went up to the DJ and asked for it, and then they went, no, not playing that, mate. Apparently. Just what? Apparently. Yeah, the allegedly. I don't know I thought it was something to do with his wife. Like... Phil Collins. had an affair with his wife no, the DJ or something like that no that's not that's, that's not talked about that. that definitely didn't happen and never will however then CVG yeah. yeah. maybe just stop sliding that. I think it works sorry it team um, oh what a shit question I've set up here <laughs> for fuck's sake Steve. I told you I said is it time to end it <laughs> no it and isn't no no it's great let's keep going and now even he said what a shit <laughs> question I thought you were going to finish half fucking dying here go to. this is supposed to be the launch podcast right I'll, I'll pick three random players Steven Gerrard Steven Gerrard Kevin Gilbert yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, Danny Murphy yeah, big DM, yeah. Big DM, yeah. Those three will have a great time. You would have a great stats night out with them. Who are you going for? Three, you can have three Ragnar Clowns. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be good Apparently, he's quite a good night out. Imagine if there was three of them. One I would pick is Ronaldinho. Who? Oh, Ronaldinho. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Apparently, oh, he loves him. He but, loves yeah. a night out. Yeah. Isn't he. Um, didn't he endorse like a fascist political party recently? I thought you got a lot of I mean, I'd stay Sorry, away. I know really... You always stay away from the politics. Do you I know, know what I mean? Oh, we're just having a little drink, Ronaldinho. <laughs> Telling me about what you're going to vote <laughs> for. Your arm tap. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, d- I don't know if that was a direct endorsement or if they just mm. went, Do you like the right wing? And he went, Oops. 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 I've got live three. Go on. George Best, Paul Gascoigne, Tino Asprilla. Tino Spirit would be a good one. They all bring something different. Yeah, but very literally. They're very similar to what you they're all <laughs> they're already, and Rocky. No. They all <laughs> they're they're all they're they'll complement what you want on a night out though, don't they? Yeah, and another thing is we're not gonna interfere in each other. Apart from Gaza, he's sort of he's the only one who's in my lane a little bit with the accent. Did you ever hear that story? I don't know if it's actually a true story, but the story about when uh, Gattuso first went to Rangers. And oh, and the suits. Yeah, yeah. Gascoigne said to him, oh, you need to get a suit, mate. You need to get some suits because I'm... Uh, <laughs> this was a wind-up, wasn't it? No, no. It was a genuinely just really nice Paul Gascoigne thing that he did. So he took Gattuso to a local suit shop and they uh, they fitted him for like five or six suits and it cost him like 10 grand. And Gattuso said, well, where's this going to come from? And he went, oh, it comes out the club's pay originally and then they just take it off your paycheck over time. And then... He found out ages later that Gaza had just paid ten grand for all these suits and just let him think that it it had come out the club's pocket. Gaza's a diamond, doesn't he? Isn't that just crazy? Yes. I, I kind of want to get him on the pod, but um, I, you just worry what what he's yeah, how he's uh, going to be, do you know. And I don't, I, I don't want to be taking advantage of yeah. someone who isn't at their full you faculties. Have to do it in like the like really right way. Yeah. yeah. The, the interview we did with Shira a while back was really good. But you're giggling about it. Yeah, Shira would actually be a good night out, I think. <laughs> In the, I think like Shearer would be a good night out. Mm. He's no. boring. I think, I think once Shearer lets his guard down with you, he'd be a fucking belt of laughter. Yeah, I feel like he would be quite funny as well. Yeah. He looked like he had a really good sense of humour. Mm. He really looked, looked like, like he... <laughs> 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 no, 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 I tried to... Force you, I think 
I see. I don't want to go out with Stephen Jarrod for the night. I'm not interested in going out with Stephen Jarrod for the night. I'm I'm sure he's definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. watches this. Yeah, he's that's a rude way to declare he's off there. It is. That's another matter of the last top. Yeah, again. <laughs> Takes uh, off his dancing shoes. He's a DJ. We're going to pop on now, are we? <laughs> he's just getting ready to go. <laughs> just rips his tie off. <laughs> Tells the kids he's staying in. Yeah. 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 Lovely guy. Sick. I'd love to. I'd also love to be around on one night of when a team win the Champions League I just want to see what that's like yeah. I heard that on the night Liverpool won the Champions League it was just incredible the last time but a team that hasn't <coughs> won it in like 10 years would be good like Liverpool yeah what about, yeah, yeah. What about Newcastle for like or 60 years, years yeah. yeah it'd be crazy do you reckon, do you reckon they'll win it like the league or Champions League in your lifetime do you reckon maybe I'll in Will's, like maybe in Will's lifetime I've, I've probably got about 20 years left <laughs> They're, they're going back down to the championship my body like more is before getting the yeah. abused yeah by who me yeah fortunately you're a, it's a fun thing though yeah in a it's way. like a toy I was told that on the night that Liverpool won the Champions League they uh, there are a lot of people who were coming up to the hotel of Liverpool when they were celebrating and they were scouts and they were just going I'm a cousin of Jamie Carragher let me in but they, they probably were to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and there were like to beetle. 16, 20 people who literally went up and went, We're Jamie Carey, this cousin's going to come in. And they were just going, Yeah, sure. Come on, <laughs> so there's like all these scousers just in as Jamie Carragher's cousins. I feel like that's quite a nice. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That makes the night, isn't it? Yeah. And also, I want to see what Rafa was like on that night. I'd love to go back oh, to that be, day. Yeah. If you could go back to any football day, which football day would you go to? I'd love to be in Istanbul on the night when Liverpool. Oh, I wouldn't have seen Tiotti's equaliser. That would have been good. The 4 4. Oh, yeah. oh, I'd, I'd, like I'd like to go to when Liverpool lost 2 0 to Chelsea when they're <laughs> so close. I'd just take a shit on the Chelsea fans. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were twats. Just, that was harsh, just, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, I hate them though. Absolutely. That was a, yeah, it's a really bad way to end your career. Didn't you get beat 6 0 by Stuck on Yeah, that was his last 6 1, he scored <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't really have a good ending to it, did he? He got the opposite of a fairy tale ending, that poor bloke. But he, uh, shit crack, mate. he's now on BT Sport. Yeah, mm. rubbing shoulders. Like, if you could have savage. played in a team, do you mean, or, or just Stop being there? My shoulders, right? or do, you, do you mean, like, just being around in the in the locker room, or, or, or being one of the back. members? Uh, the team members? Oh, good question, actually. I didn't think I'd be one of the team members. No, I was just thinking you'd just, like, be, be able to witness it. Do you know what I mean? My favourite, like, moment in football, my favourite time period ever Newcastle around about the Christmas time I think it was in the early 2000s this was under Bobby Robson ironically it was when Kieran Dyer was fucking flying and uh, Craig Bellamy and Lauren Robert and all that and Shearer was oh, banging him in we, we came back from 3-1 down against Leeds and won 4-3 and I think in the next game we beat Arsenal 3-1 at Highbury which mm. we had a terrible record at Highbury <laughs> and when we with that win, um, it was quite controversial because um, I think uh, Lauren Robert uh, got brought down for a penalty. There was a lot of debate. Was it a penalty? It was a penalty. <laughs> quite it literally, was, it did turn out as a penalty. No, it was a penalty. And then Shira scored it. And then Lauren Robert went through again uh, in, in the last four, 10 minutes. We were top of the league, but it was because it was at Christmas. And I remember, <laughs> I, I, like, I've, I can remember watching the game on TV and like as vivid as fuck in my mind right now and going and having a piss right? <laughs> and I'm having a piss going top of the league for Christmas <laughs> like and just like knowing that we were gonna I was gonna owe me presents on Christmas day and you castle were top of the league didn't that tend to mean also you could win the league at that point so it, it, league, it was a good sign I mean Bobby Robson had us playing amazing football generally and beating Arsenal at uh, Highbury when they had Thierry Henry and that like I just remember thinking, not only are we winning, we're, we're winning in style, and like, it's Christmas, and my team's top. It's also it me. doesn't get better than this, Lawrence. My life from that moment, I've got to be honest, was downhill <laughs> from that moment well, we on. Know. It's just one thing that I realised just now, is we've both, got, we've both got teams who have played each other quite a few times and have had amazing... Had classics. Yeah, mm. like 4-3 is a classic <sighs> scoreline. Stan, Stan Collin. Stan Collin. What we should do... Yeah. At some point, is do Newcastle at Anfield and Liverpool or, or, or something like that, or a live stream. Mm -hmm. We we need to watch a game all together. That that'll be a fucking great yeah. day. Yeah, and get absolutely pissed as well when we do that, it. Do you think that's something that you really need to do to watch football? Oh, it, it, well, it's, 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 if you're a Newcastle fan, am I right, Mackens? <laughs> 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 I'm loving that. <laughs> 
the Magans are just about to get rele- relegated from the championship <laughs> okay. they're loving it they're loving oh, it Chris Coleman is Chris Coleman the manager? Yeah, I think um, so. Wow, my yeah. favourite master. He, he jacked it in at Wales after doing a great job. Yeah. Oh. To be fair, he did do a good job there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Who's your Who's your second team, if you have one? Uh, second team? Uh, I I've gone to a couple of Norwich away team, away games, Norwich. but I mean... Have you? Why yeah. Norwich? I just had a best mate in uni that supported Norwich, so he, he would come with... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> to, to be honest, so I, myself, I don't really. even... Um, I don't even give a fuck about England. Let alone, oh, yeah, they've, they've they've lost them, technically they? they're your first team. Do you know what I mean? England is your first team. Newcastle England is my second team. team. What England, I could give a shit oh, about. Yeah, so you are. Uh, do you have a so I've got an England second team, which is Crystal Palace, and then why? Because uh, I used to go with a really good friend when I first when I first uh, started like working at London. It's one in, of them, isn't it? Yeah, it's and he went. You should come down to Crystal Palace. And when I went, the atmosphere was amazing. Right, it's a shit hole, isn't it? Salos Park. Salos Park's shit not great, but I was in the it's new dump. But you, the great That's thing, probably why Brighty turned up in his cardigan because he's just used to rocking up in any old thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he literally went what this old thing because normally at Crystal Palace they go this is lovely Mark and he went came up to Wembley and went what this and they went yeah you came in that <laughs> uh, and Come then on, <laughs> the best Getting rinsed I once went in Euro 2012 to um, one of the cities that was now been destroyed by Russia um, it's been destroyed Shakhtar Donetsk you hear they, that con sorry uh, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know if I can directly say it was destroyed by Russia. I think it was just destroyed Shakhtar by. Shakhtar Donetsk was. A, was yeah. They were a good team. So wasn't Donetsk they? was the city, and it was apparently built by an, uh, one of the oil or coal rich guys. Oh. And uh, the stadium was in like a giant round park in the middle of the city, like r- really close to all the housing. And it was like a utopia sort of place. And they had instead of having like VIP boxes, they had like VIP cabanas out. Oh, on the water so like a little almost like a floating VIP area and we got taken to this VIP area had a really good time and it, it was literally like being in what I thought heaven looked like <laughs> and then in the middle the stadium was glowing Cabana yeah do you know what a cabana is what is this so it's like a, you walk out uh, on like a <laughs> you've got the real this? life you walk out on a like a little I don't know, a jetty. And in the stadium? The of, no, outside the stadium, oh. in the giant park. The way you've described it is that like, there's like a floating section in the, yeah, in the yeah. stadium. Yeah. Like, that would be amazing. You know, the Olympic Park, if they just replaced it with a moat. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> that's that's actually that. a really good idea. They should do that. would keep some of the fans away. Mm. Um, just a uh, the firm coming Copa. down. Copa. 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 I'd love to see all the West Ham fans singing that. Copa. Uh, Copa. 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 I'm blowing bubble. See. So, so there's this like perfect utopian oh, land, right, right. utopian <laughs> around Donetsk, and then at night it like glows blue. And these, there were a load of Russians who were there because obviously it's Ukraine, and they're all just going, "You're welcome, welcome to Russia." And I was like, "Oh, that's Ukraine." And they went, "This is ours." And I remember just being like, "Was Bain there?" Yeah, you, know, you all will die. <laughs> Shoot on man. Yeah. Um, and then the other one is in Milan, if you go in the VIP area there, their VIP area is level. So you, you walk out and your your head is level with the pitch so you can see all the players' feet. Uh, really no, cool. Like can we pull strings now that we've got a company and that and get like cool shit like that? Probably, yeah. My, my second team's in Wigan, so... Good for you. Similar. Yeah. Very <laughs> utopian. Yeah. Dave Whelan, he's, <laughs> he's crafted something magical there. Two pies for two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Uh, oh, right, okay, you've made it. Probably. Up. Yeah, no, it's not that cheap. Up the ticks, come on! If you know oh, what that means. <laughs> is your second team? Uh, Norwich. Said Norwich. Ah! I'm starting to... I quite like Norwich. And you just don't like anyone else. Norwich as well for me. And then, nope. Really? You don't even feel a little bit of affection towards Liverpool. There's one Dolan. team I, I feel a little bit sorry for. Liverpool. Blackburn Rovers. Oh. Right, because the Venkis thing. Yeah, and the, whole, the Alan Shearer connection. So I, I, I used to like Shearer when he played for Blackburn, so I sort of I watched them and that, and then when you see how they've been destroyed oh, right. by the owners. Didn't they do a point. chicken advert once? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That was definitely yeah. Venkis out. Are they out now or are they still there? No, I think they're, they're there? still there. I think, I think they're there. Yeah, they? they'll, they'll be there. The fucking wheels fall off by the sound of it. And apparently, the wheels are very close to falling. Yeah, off. yeah. I miss Leeds in the Premier League. Oh, I don't. Uh, I, I was, was too young to. Really? Oh, I suppose not. Yeah, but I remember Leeds. I went to a Leeds game once, and they were the best fans because they were really easy to hate. Yeah. <laughs> 
Their traveling fans were really sort of aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I kind of like that though. No, no, that's what I liked about it. Yeah. Like, they were easy. So many really games in the Premier League, your team turns up and you're like, who are playing today? Uh, you never said that about Leeds. Like, there was always like, all right, well, we've yeah, actually got good something, rivalry. something interesting today. Because mm. their fans are, you know, what? a bit of atmosphere. The, the fans are a bit of atmosphere. Yeah. I mean, 40,000 seat stadium, isn't it? Ellen Road. Yeah, that's crazy. They were apparently, at one point, they were going to be bought by Red Bull. Oh. So they could have been <coughs> Red Bull Leeds. That would have been so weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, Red Bull Leeds United. Yep. <sighs> Red Bull Leeds United. I see Brian's glazed over now. So <laughs> <Yeah>. Brian. <laughs> he easily lost like 20 minutes. I mean, the most I think you probably lost. You've just minutes. about lost him at the moment, no. yeah. This has yeah, been really good first, first podcast. Next time, let us know real football topics to talk about. Yeah, we couldn't really put the tweets out and say it's an EXO podcast. And now... Do you want to um, hear us in depth go into 442? Well, well, not, not, not only that, um, <laughs> which we wouldn't know. Sports in general as well. A bit, bit of everything, bit of, and just a bit of general shit as well. I love my boxing. Yeah. Another face punch by JJ. So if you want to hear more of that analysis. It was another punch to the face, actually. So yeah. You actually said face punches. Another one. Face punch. And another DJ Khaled. Yeah. Another one. Another one. Go. So um DJ That was good though. I feel like it's nice to have you guys around more often as well. Yeah. It takes the weight off my shoulders as well, knowing it's our podcast. Well it does seem a little bit like you have to catch on, but I'm Really Glad it's mine too. Yeah, no, it is your podcast. Cool. I Welcome. don't want. I don't want to claim it. Sorry. It is yours. I feel like it'll bring it down. If no, do we all just finish now by going like <laughs> X? Oh <laughs> no, he loves the. Do old. we have a hand sign or not? Can we not? No, um, I think there's one on the internet like... where it's like something like this, isn't it? Where they, they they like do that and then they and then they do that. Don't we do uh, that? The thing is, I think. <laughs> What that? Don't oh, he's he show that the camera is. Oh, that, are we doing that? that? That's back the front. I think you have to do it the other way. No, it is. Look, for you, it works. Oh, right? yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. That's true. That Just short of the I mean, it works in making you look like a knacker like the rest of them do, but... Is, is uh, that... well, sorry, what hand signs do you want to do? Do you want like, I don't. I don't. I'm just. Hey, I'm, I'm oh, you looked. To be honest, I, I wasn't really bothered about doing hand signs, but then I thought to myself, it'll probably really piss the hashtag lads off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we turn, if we turn up all the big events going, like, <laughs> see, stolen my, stolen my thing. Well, Phil, Phil Seb, Nash is Seb, eh? shaking in eh? his chair. Can't trademark a hand sign, can you? Eh? Just ask Hitler. To be fair, I am expecting now um, a letter. He did a good job of it, though. Yeah. In no one else does it anymore. He, made it <laughs> yeah. he really Shira. owned it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. In, in the words of Louis Walsh, you made it your own. Yeah. <laughs> Hitler. You, you look like a little pop star, Hitler. <laughs> also, in the words of Louis Walsh, oh, you've got soft eyes. Oh, that's a different one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Libelous. <laughs> so that was XO Podcast episode Jeez. one. Like, subscribe, uh-huh. and uh, I suppose Please. I'll let you end us. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. Cheers for oh, tuning in. Check Sorry, Lauren's been on about uh, moot, but click if you want to look at my Instagram, that would be great. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll put do a, um, a new campaign. Um, a new, what, campaign? Sub 2XO. Shut up, that's my brand. No, but this is ours. Well, you fucking own this. If I'm getting more percentage than copy, I'll bring that. He's already. Punch him really in the face. I'm like, do you want to do a face bun? Yeah. Swat him, bro. Sub 2XO. Hashtag. Yeah. No, no, no. Can't so we do, t- like, uh, what I want to... That worked last time. Wonders for Wacky him. Can we not shots. just rip that off? Yeah, but that's because his channel was named Sub 2 Will Any. It's his thing. He keeps doing those brand. shit no, t-shirts. Can we not buy use his... Fuck off. He keeps doing that shit. Have you got any of those shit jackets left? <laughs> I actually really enjoyed those jackets. That one hit. I was like, I don't buy like those jackets. Yeah, I do actually quite like those jackets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, right. Well, cheers for calling them. Can you shit. still buy them online? You can't. Uh, they're £39.99. Can I have to pay XO or can I? Uh, if you want one. Well, no, actually, f- you can't have one even if you do pay. Sub 2XO. Shit jackets. Right. I mean, I, I'm sure you're really heartbroken. Yeah, I am a little, <laughs> yeah. Genuinely, though, I think uh, what want? we. Because in our trailer, we do the thing where we say, um, you see, we? we see XO. We see it. You see XO everywhere. Mm. I think a lot of people will have been jumping on that over the last week. Hasn't let me see that yet. Yeah, you'll see it. Oh, someone's caught it already. Oh really? I'm someone, not stressing out about it. it. Okay. They've replied. We've got an editor well. on it right now. He's fucking okay. loving it. They've, uh, they've, they've, they've found the company. It's got. It's got uh, I've genuinely. And there's genuinely uh, little references to each of us in there, and there's lions in the trailer just for Brian. No. So. Hashtag sub to XO. Any honey badgers? Can we use that? What? what? Less. Oh, what? Yeah, it doesn't mean any. Like northeast. You don't badgers. know marketing, Lawrence. Honey badgers mean <laughs> <laughs> consistency. 
Is that your animal? Yeah, honey badger. <laughs> what, what would your animal? So your animal's a honey badger. Yeah. yeah. I, no, I think more it'd be just a, a sad penguin. <laughs> <laughs> sad just a fed up penguin. It's <laughs> really fed up penguin. It's just melting all around him, and he's just no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's just shit. <laughs> How many more years? <laughs> what about you? What animal would you be? Bear. Lion. Well, lion. Bear. Will? I'm standing. Are you understand this? Although bear? elephant, may, maybe one. elephant. To be honest. Squirrel. Yeah. Because I'm a vengeful um, oh. bastard who rem- remembers things and. Heavy. Um, I'm quite slow, but I am heavy and powerful. All mm. oh, right. And a big, big ears. Trunk, as, well. as they say. Big yeah. ears. Junk in the trunk. I seen an elephant put its trunk in another elephant's arse yesterday and suck shit out of it. Right. And eat it. And eat it. You need to stop watching porn. <laughs> Bestiality. Yeah. And you'll see us react to that on the next video on EXO. Genuinely, was that a... That was a real video. <laughs>